Yeah, the back is. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Obosha and welcome to the Slay Squad. I swear this Kayelo t shirt has made it to <laughs> so many videos, but we're going to ignore that. Um, I've tried to look for a different setup. So, this is uh, the dressing table that's normally in my room, that's what I'm facing because it has like the largest mirror that I can find while sitting down and I've just turned it around and then yeah because I didn't like how the lighting looked in my previous video with the hair setting so it is currently day 259,000 <laughs> of quarantine and as per usual we are here um, finding a way to, to slay while we are still in quarantine and for today we are going to be doing the hair i've had my hair open for like two days now <laughs> and i'm already like i already started looking at box dyes yesterday tutorials and i was just like nope let me just let me tuck this hair away before we make quarantine decisions that we cannot come back from uh oh also excuse the thing is the paint but the paint has come off when i was in class eight love well, this has become more about me than the hair <laughs> when i was in class 8 i stuck a huge calendar over here and i was sticking out days to kcpe but we'll fix that there may or may not be a whole room makeover video coming up after quarantine is done anyways enough rambling we're going to be doing the hair shout out to delivery services because i have not had to leave the house in a while now because i was just like if i can get it brought to me then that's great i used glovo today to order the things that i need not a sponsored video by the way and i'm really happy about it because i mean i was sending for hair and i was sending a guy hair and most guys don't know what crochet hair is so i was really impressed when this guy brought me exactly what i had asked for <laughs> you know probably he asked but still glovo is where it's at man uh so I wanted to crochet hair because I don't know how to braid like I can do a simple twist or a matuta But I can't really braid so I knew crochet was my only option for someone who does not know how to braid So I started looking for crochet hair that I can find but they called super cosmetics the one in Westland trying to find out um, the Different hairs that they have I asked for I wanted initially sister four locks but they didn't have that uh, they told me the only hair that they have in stock is darling so i went to the darling website the darling kenya website looked at different hairs that they had and i found one called pencil mambo braids so i placed the order and each braid i have my receipt right here each braid goes for 430 kenyan shillings and i got three packs hopefully they will be enough that's the receipt and this is how the hair looks like i wanted it in black but the guy called me and told me they don't have black so i got color number one stroke 350 in case you want to take a screenshot there it is that's how the hair looks like it's just long normal twists so when the hair i got here i was actually really impressed so here are the the packets this one i will really open for that it can just be quicker to show you guys so this is how the hair looks like on the inside i was actually really impressed with these colors because i don't know much about braids so even when i was being told color number one stroke 350 was like um can you just explain to me how it looks like roughly and he was like black and maroon ish i was like at the bottom or the whole thing he's like the whole thing i was like okay i'll take that because it was either this or blonde and i don't think blonde will be able to hide my mistakes really well so this is what i went for uh yeah it looks like this and it also has a kinky ish texture which i really like because i didn't know that's what i was getting now the only problem is that they look tiny which i mean <laughs> should have gotten that from the fact that they are called um pencil braids so pencil braids dark thin they're thin i wish they were fatter because again that would make what i wanted to do easier 
but here we are and we have to make it work in case you're also curious each of this has 20 20 so in one packet there's 40 times 3 i have wait that's 40 times 3 120 in the three packets hopefully this is enough because yeah i don't have to order hair again each of the braids is already pre-looped like this so it's easy to just insert the crochet hook i got this crochet hook years ago from another pack of braids the lady who used to come and do my hair in the house just told me hey it came with a hook and i was like awesome so i didn't have to get this one as well okay so initially how i wanted to install this hair I wanted to do individual crochet method and individual crochet how it works in case you're not like familiar with the method the different ways of doing it so like the braids that i had before the nubian twist you can they usually braid the hair a bit on the base and then they install this on that one single section and then they twist the hair together but then there's this other method that i saw also on youtube a while ago where you what's it called you braid a matuta on like one single section all the way to the end and then you loop this through the matuta and then you go in with your crochet hook inside the hair and pull your hair through so that it is hidden inside this um, braid but now the thing is the braid is too tiny for that i don't think it's going to work because i've tried looping this through the hair and it is difficult <laughs> i mean by the time you see like by the time you get in and out of each section it's a minute it's not it's not working y'all it's not working <laughs> uh so before that i had also tried a different method of because i'm lazy i mean if i'm going to get away with twisting the hair instead of braiding it individually i'd want to twist it so i tried twisting a section and then pulling this through and it did not work because the base was not strong enough to hold this with a with a twist only so i basically narrowed it down to two options that i have option one is um braiding a bit and then twisting the rest of the hair and then just you know until it enters or there's a different method i went to youtube and found guys doing the kamatana braids now also of course there's the kawaida option of just doing lines all the way on your head and then crocheting this hair but then again <laughs> i don't know how to braid cornrows so that's not really an option for me so when i went on youtube i found this one youtuber who was doing the kamatana braids and that's basically where you do um matutas each section like you do small matutas and then you join them into a cornrow now the good thing about this is that it gives the illusion of individually braided hair first of all and second of all if you're like me and you don't know how to cornrow then it's basically a shortcut so just a quick disclaimer this is not a tutorial like we're just trying this out together that's what this quarantine life has been so far us just figuring out things we normally get help with now we're figuring it out on our own so yeah um let's get started i guess i have my comb i've had this comb since i was like a child and my hair feels good it's not that dry but i have this uh i have a plating one not this one this one is the butter but i have this uh what's it called plating pudding cream there it is plating pudding cream by uh, dark and lovely so this is what i'm going to use before i won't add any oil on my hair um before braiding just so that my hair my fingers don't slip a lot i'm not the best braider so i know i'm going to struggle with making the braids the plaits tight at the root because what i've seen is it needs to be kind of tight at the bottom so that they can look cute when you're done <laughs> the good thing with this braid though is that they're easily reusable so like even if what i do last only two weeks i can very easily remove them because they won't get damaged during installation wash them and then put them back in for another two weeks i guess so yeah 
let's let's get started <laughs> I just braided a bit at the bottom and then twisted the other part up. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Parting was a bit more difficult than I thought. Now here's the other struggle. I mean, I said I know how to do this. Actually, you know what I should have done? Like proper kamatana, like join this to this one and the other one to the other. That is what I'm going to do because I can't braid. Now I'm stuck with this and I'm not sure what exactly to do with it so that it can all... Okay, let me see. This is how our first plait line thingamajig looks like. Though maybe for the other ones, I'll join them as I'm braiding. That might be an easier way for me to go about this. But for now... <laughs> This is what we have right there now i want to test if this will work being crocheted before we go on because i don't want to do my entire head and then i'm stuck and i don't know what to do next so i'm going to take out a hair i'm going to start with this middle one because it looks a bit more <laughs> stable than the one that's at the edge put the crochet hook here i've actually never even crocheted anything on my own hair I'm going to put that in there close the latch Ooh, guys it's not coming okay let's try this again put it in there close the latch okay there we go and then I need to close this guys yay 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 okay let's put another one <laughs> let's put this front one so that everything is dropping so that you can see if the illusion actually works okay this front one has <laughs> okay let's let's relax and try this again okay here we go Slide this in. Oh, forget to close the latch. It's usually a way I say that I'm doing in the salon for bringing this in. Let me not start graduating into other levels <laughs> before we've gone too far. Yeah, so when you look at it, when it's done, it's supposed to look like each section has been done individually. I like it. I really like it. Yeah. I'm so happy. So what I'm going to do is I'll go and braid. Not even. I can go. I'll stay here. I have a new series that I'm watching. I've never watched um, Off and Black. So that's what I'm just going to watch. It has a lot of seasons. So we're going to do this on the entire head. This Hamatana ones. Uh, I will try the method that I'm telling you on this other side to see if it's going to be easier than this because I'm not sure how well you see like this will hold and then I will be back actually if I do it really well I might come back and undo these and do them the other way or I'll just leave them let's see how this goes <laughs> so what I'm doing is I have this from this previous braid and then I'm joining it into this other one with a bit of hair. And then it's like a conro <laughs> for people who don't know how to conro. Okay, let me move this out of the way first. Okay, so we have this first one. And then I join it to the next one. And then 
I corn roof and I plate for a bit, just a normal plate, and then I twist it like that. So that when I come back to put in this braids, I'll put one here, one here, one here, like that. The only thing is that I don't know how people's parts are so clean. <laughs> My parts are really not that cute but we move we move regardless i'm going to try hopefully by the time i'm like here where it will be more, maybe like here i'll have practiced and the parts will be a bit cleaner okay so first check-in aisha i told you guys what time we started but i don't remember my neck is ugh, like i've been sitting here forever and i did get a bit better <laughs> With this lens um i'm having to now do them in a weird way like i'm braiding like this as opposed to here where i was braiding like this but yeah they are getting can you guys see i hope you can see they're getting better so i'm left with this section over here that i'm going to try and make into two ones and then i'm going to count the braids <laughs> to see how many but they don't look like they are could they be 120 could they really no i'm going to count them so that if there are few i just know in advance i i prefer to know before i get in and then we will crochet so see you guys when i am done with this bit also i did this side first so that i don't end up with like a weird number of twists this side doesn't look that pretty though maybe i'll redo it but yeah move on to the side yay we're done finally uh forehead on 100 <laughs> but we did we did okay i want to show you guys the back i've not yet seen let me let me see back up okay yeah the back is <laughs> just look <laughs> uh. I don't know, is it, is it visible? Uh, I hope you could see that or some bit of it. But the back is not the best. But I have seen people uh, crochet on crap lines and it looked fine. So let's do this. The only thing is that you see on these ones that I started with, there is a, there's a lot of space in between. And I'm not sure if that will become a problem. When I got here, around here, this one, this one, I realized. And so you can see like the space became tighter in between. Because I don't think I'll ever part my hair here or here. I'm just going to, you know, let it be. I'll probably be parting my hair here or on this other side. And those two are okay. Also, as you can see, some of the lines ended up <laughs> ending halfway through. But yeah, I guess I'll get better with time when it comes to parting and everything. Uh, I've not counted the braids. I've just decided that there's no way I have more than 120 braids in here. Oh, cool I? We'll figure this out as we go because we're already here. We are, <laughs> we are just going to have to crochet this thing inside. I hope, I hope someone tries this out. Hopefully also a beginner like me so you can let me know how it goes for you and yeah let's do this we are now going to crochet in the hair i feel like it's going to be really hard for me to do the back i'm tempted to start with the front because it will be easier and also if the hair ends then i have hair on the front part um but then again if i do the front i won't be able to see the back nicely so yeah let's do this oh i was about to uh finish the thing and then i decided let me oil my scalp first now that it's visible i'm just going to go along the parts and then i'll massage it in As 
second update not second but like <laughs> another update i have done this much as you can see the hair is not full yet and i am sure i have a very big blank at the back of my head but i might need to get help for that but so far i think we're doing okay so i have left this one bunch so these are 20 21 and a whole packet left so what i want to do is go in and just fill in places that are sparse and places that i might not have gotten into especially at the back so yeah let's do that now <laughs> this uh series at episode one together <laughs> i'm now at episode seven so here's where we are at getting a bit uh fuller which is good some places where the braids were ending katikati I, I i really don't know what people do with those i still feel as if the back of my head might be a bit bare so i'm going to go to my mom I still have 20 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 24 braids left and I'm going to ask her to just check for me the back real quick. See if there's anywhere where we can add in some hair and then we do that. I don't like this side that much. I feel like it's so empty. Anyways, I need to get like a good pair of eyes. <laughs> on top of me so that we can fix everything and then I'll be back. and it's now 8 p.m. it's taken quite a bit of time and downstairs for my mom to check the back and she said the back was actually fine so I do have a bunch of hair left though when she's done working I will have her come and just confirm that there's nowhere we need to add in more hair I just put it into a half down half up kind of do let me get it out that you guys can see there we go. I still feel like for sure the back might need more hair. But yeah, there we go. That is the final result. Um, they are this long. Just on top of my bum bum. Uh, comment down below let me know how you think I have done for the first time braiding my own hair uh, yeah if you're a professional or if you just know how to do this also correct things that I should have done better because if we are in this social distancing period for a minute I might have to do this again I'm excited to try new hairstyles for sure for sure also you can comment down below a hairstyle that I can try preferably crochet because <laughs> I don't really know how to do it like that. So that is it. Oh, by the way, I will link everything in the description in case you're interested. And that is it for this week's video. Don't forget to like, comment, share. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe down below for new videos every Mondays and Thursdays. Always remember to work hard and have good intentions. Until next time, bye guys.